Welcome to my channel. So guys, I'm making some spaghetti. This is what I'm going to be using. This is my first time ever using this type of spaghetti. I guess it's called tofu spaghetti. So I'm going to be making vegan spaghetti. It says it's vegan free. Or I said vegan free. It says it's vegan. So this is the meat I'm going to be using right here. Um, I hope this is vegan. Yep, it is. Boom. Vegan. Check. Okay. Then I found this vegan spaghetti sauce. So, yes. This is going to be my first time using this sauce. Using this meat. Using this spaghetti. So, I just can't wait. I'm, I'm curious to know how it's going to taste, you guys. But I got to let this meat unthaw and now I get back to y'all. So what I'm going to do now is spray the pan with this olive oil. Now I'm going to dump this meat into the skillet. That's only 60 calories. Okay. Now it's time to dump this on in here. The meat. Or... I'm going to use this... Um, Yes, yeah, not vegan, but this is my favorite seasoning. I don't have any vegan seasoning. So I'm going to use some of this right here, you guys. Let me see how much. It has 170 70 milligrams of sodium. But everything else is zero. I'm going to add this basil. Now, I don't know how this is going to taste because I never had this meat before. It sounds supposed to cook it for 12 minutes, but I'm going to do 15 make sure it's done so you guys I'm out of garlic powder so what I want to do is use some um roasted garlic put some of that so I'm gonna rinse and chop these up and throw them in the pot I'm gonna mix the onions in I think that's what they're called mix them in now give it a mix 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 now I'm gonna add some black pepper we only got a little bit left I'm gonna have to use the rest of this up I don't know if y'all can see that pepper, the black pepper. Now we're going to mix that on up. I added just a um, tablespoon of water to it because it was kind of sticking. Either that or add more, um, not, uh, what is it, olive oil to it. Y'all, look what I done found. Some salt-free season, seasoning. I could have used this, but I didn't already use my, um, my light Creole seasoning, so, oh well, maybe next time I'm, I can use this, because it's got a little flavor to it. Okay, so now I'm going to add this to my meat. Um, Yeah, it is pasta sauce. So yeah, I'm going to add this to the meat, y'all. Okay, so I got the sauce in, now I'm going to mix it. It's coming along, y'all, it's coming along. Make sure you mix that bad boy. Okay, so now I'm going to put the, the slit over it and let it cook for a little bit. Now, you guys, I'm going to be making these noodles. Here is what you got to do. So, drain and rinse thoroughly and then boil for two to three minutes in the microwave. But I'm just going to put mine right on the stove, honey. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, here's the noodles. Now I'm going to rinse it. Give it a good rinse, rinse, rinse. A good shaky, shaky, shaky. Hold on, y'all. I gotta rinse. I gotta make sure it's rinsed really good. One sec. Oh man, I should got the oven to this though. Um, they got some more. This is my first time using these, but I don't know. Cause I know for sure I like the other ones I had. I don't know the name of it, but. Yeah. 
I think that's good enough, y'all. I don't know. I just realized that it said to boil the noodles and I did not boil it. I put it directly into the pot, but I guess it'll be okay because it's right in the pot with the sauce. That's good. Okay, I got the meat. Now I'm gonna add these noodles up in there and now I'm gonna give it a mix. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna add the rest of the sauce. It's coming along. I don't think I like the noodles. I haven't tasted it yet, but I don't know. I should have got the noodles that I already know I was going to like. I wanted to try something new. But we're going to see how this um, tastes. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning, y'all. Okay, you guys. Now I'm going to add some cheese. Plant-based cheese, y'all. Okay, let's add this to the pot. Or skillet, whatever you want to call it. I got the cheese in. I'm going to mix it up. Oh, this is good with this cheese, y'all. I don't know how this going to taste. And I hope it don't taste nasty because I had a I had a taste for some spaghetti. I got a taste for some spaghetti, y'all. So let me let that melt on in there. Okay, I just rinsed off the parsley, but now I'm gonna use my parsley. I'm just using whatever is in my kitchen, honey. And then I'm gonna mix that on in. So this is how it's looking so far. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in my bowl. So here's my bowl of spaghetti. I'm also going to add some, hold on, where's my, a little bit of cayenne pepper to mine. And then some crushed peppers. Where's the crushed peppers? Hold on, y'all. Where are my crushed peppers? And some crushed peppers. Y'all know I like my stuff. Spicy, hold on. I can't do it while I'm holding the phone. Yeah. All right, so this is the spaghetti. It's done. Now I made a big pot. Um, I don't know if my kids are gonna eat it. They usually they gonna tell me if they don't like something or not. They definitely will let me know. But that's why you always have a backup plan. Cause I don't know. I haven't tasted it before, and yeah. That's why I got them some Little Caesars pizza because that's what they want just in case they don't like the spaghetti. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to do a mud bang. I'll probably post it in the morning. I'm not sure, but stay tuned. You're going to see if I like it or not.